Here we are, another year and another Wimpy Kid movie, unfortunately. Recently, Disney Plus has come out with another Wimpy Kid movie. It's a sequel to the original animated movie that came out last year. I already wasn't the biggest fan of that movie. I made an entire video talking about it. I thought it was cheap, lazy, and felt like no passion was put into it. So I was hoping when they were gonna make the sequel that all of that would have been improved. Well, unfortunately, they didn't. I had a bad feeling right from the start. The movie begins with a two minute explanation on why you should care about the characters, mostly Greg and Roderick. Because why actually show any of that in a movie if you can just explain it in the intro? The movie already expects you to know everything about these characters, which is kind of stupid because for a movie, you should explain that stuff to the audience, why you should care about the characters and etc. But they assume you already know who these people are. And let's just say you do, that's great, but you shouldn't make a movie like that. You should make a movie as if nobody has heard of these characters ever. And let's assume that you were just watching this series. You barely saw Roderick in the original, so you wouldn't even know who he was, really. But they explained that real quick, and I didn't like that. You know, why do the hard work of actually making a movie? Basically, this movie feels like how long can we stretch a scene out to get it to an hour? It gets really repetitive and boring. The film jumps right into Roderick having the party, and Greg is stuck in the basement. This is already a problem because you barely know who Roderick is. You don't really care about Greg being in the basement. It's way too quick and there's no buildup with these characters. The movie decides not to show the relationship between those two characters, so you just don't care at all. It's unfortunate, but that's how they did it. It's like, oh no, Greg's in the basement. Okay. Honestly, it's sad to see how bad this movie really is. I don't want to say that because I want these movies to be good, but they're just not and I can't lie and say that they are when I don't like them. I didn't really enjoy the last one. It felt cheap and lazy. And this one's just the same, if not even worse than that. No passion, no reason for this to exist. It's just bad all around. The movie just feels so forced. It's like they announced it last year and they had to put something out since they already announced it. So they just rushed this Thing out no matter how it was good bad slapped together whatever something had to be on Disney Plus by the end of this year and we got this <laughs> feel the need to go through the story because we've already seen it. Roderick and Greg are fighting, then he shows them the ways, then they have to split up. Oh, they come together at the end for the talent show. And every once in a while, they'll throw in a change, but every time they do, it feels like they're changing something to make it easier for them. It's like, how can we make this movie quicker and cheaper rather than changing it for a good story? One of them is when Roderick is having the party, Greg takes pictures in the closet instead of being a part of the party. Why have him be out of the closet? You can just have him stay in there and take pictures. Let's just get the scene over with. Also, other things feel so forced in the movie because they're in the original, so they feel obligated to have it in there. Like in this movie, they mention the talent show in a passing conversation. Like, oh yeah, the talent show's at the end of this thing. Let's just mention it real quick. In the original movie, Roderick's on there, he sees it on TV, it's getting built up as you go. This one is just forced in there, and it's like, oh yeah, we have a talent show, and then at the end, it's just there. You don't even care about it at all. It was so boring at this point, I almost shut it off, but I pushed to the end. Sadly, I did. I would honestly rather have no movies than these cheap, weird, awkward animations that they're making. They're so uninspired, it's actually sad. And like I said, I don't want to say this. I'm not saying this with happiness or whatever. It's just the truth. I have to say it. Maybe some people love it like little babies, but are you really going to make movies this bad just because babies are watching? You're going to turn away all your other fans by making these really just poorly made movies, which I don't even think they should be movies. They should be like 30 minutes or something, but at least they upgraded the mom's voiceover. That was a good change. I know that you and your brother don't always get along. <laughs> Also, I want to mention this. There's a video by 24 Frames of Nick. He basically said everything that I had on my mind, right down to how lazy it is, poorly it's made, everything. He had it spot on, so I recommend you watching his video. But as for me, I didn't like it. But with all that, I can't wait for part three. I am so excited. Yeah. <laughs>